morning. I'm in a bridge. <laughs> uh, just to explain to you that shots like what you just saw don't just happen. Camera. So we're going to try and somehow get up up here and, and get it back. It's cool. <laughs> the daredevils. <laughs> you need to do something with Trocha. Yeah, it's amazing. It. Yeah. <laughs> Trocha, you need to do something with it. This road has become far too steep and bumpy for me to ride. So I've been walking for the last few miles. Uh, I think I'm almost at the top. Maybe another two miles and I'm at the top. But I've just felt a little bit of rain. I'm starting to feel it just coming down slightly, so I need to keep moving quickly, otherwise I'm going to get caught out at the top of a mountain in the rain, which is never much fun. Keep going. Oh my. Okay, so I know I said I need to keep moving, uh, but check that out behind me. <laughs> I can't resist. Okay, <laughs> I hope there's no bears in China, or in fact, I know there's bears in China, but I just hope there's no bears in this cave. Oh my god. Wow, it just keeps going. <sighs> I've come far enough. I'm not going any further than this. That's just scary. Um, I need to get back to my bike. This will be fun to check out, but these rocks are just so loose. Yeah, look at this. It's just, <laughs> that'll scare somebody, <laughs> oh my, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, it's too loose, let's just get out of here. Thankfully, we're going down, so it should be a warmer night than it would have been. Last night was a bit chilly, and I didn't really want to repeat it. I think it's going to be a bit cold, um, but there we are. Very pretty out here. This is what I wanted. On her cell phone, but I never know what to say. I only wanna know that she is well. So I'll be in this country now for 80 days. In a couple of days, I need to start thinking about getting myself out of the country because in under a week's time, my parents are coming out to Hong Kong. And I need to get there. Um, and I'm quite a long way from Hong Kong at the moment. The light's just fading around me. Uh, I, I could turn the light on, but I'm not going to. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Eating my beans. I'm gonna get my tent up. I'm gonna climb a mountain tomorrow. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I could drive a light years.
Anyhow, this road is incredible. It's killing me, <laughs> but it's incredible. It's so pretty out here. Autumn has definitely arrived. You can see all the yellow trees behind me. <laughs> I am, I'm stunned. So, climb to the top of the mountain, and then this road has just been, well, I say it's been going flat. At the moment it's going up, but generally it's been going pretty flat, which is making this so pleasurable. <laughs> but uh, it's still hard work. <laughs> Sounds like I'm loving it, doesn't it? Oh, oh, get out the hell. Loving it just that little bit too much. <sighs> to the point where it becomes a bit weird. Okay, Thank you, man. Thank you very Goodbye. much. Goodbye. 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 So, good morning. I've just left the workers. What amazing people. Um, we had, well, they called it something else, but it was basically spaghetti bolognese last night, which was lovely. And this morning, some kind of porridgey, soupy type thing. Very nice. Um, wow, yeah. Uh, that's the first time, uh, yeah, that, that is the first time I've been kind of taken in like that in China. I've been, yeah, camping most of the time or or occasionally staying in hotels. That, that's the first time I've actually been taken in. But anyway, today, we need to try and get up this mountain without getting too cold, because it looks like the sun is being quite stubborn today. Um, the clouds have come in, it's cold, it's threatening to rain. Um, I hope it doesn't. It's snowing! <laughs> it's snowing! Oh my! Me again. So on this trip, I've frequently been asked, Ed, unicycling around the world is great and all, but are you doing it for a particular cause? It's funny, you should ask that Santa Hat guy. Yes, I am. I'm raising funds and awareness for the charity School on the Back. The team, based in Somerset, England, manufacture, fill, and distribute little red rucksacks and send them all over the world to children in dire need of learning resources. Every single red rucksack sent out contains exercise books, line squared and plain, pencils, coloring pencils, pens in a pencil case, a ruler, a math set, a water bottle, a bowl, a plate, and my favourite, a little red spork. The cost to manufacture, fill, and deliver one school bag to one child is only £20. So if you can spare the money and would like to support this amazing initiative, please head over to my charity donation page, uk.virginmoneygiving.com slash worldunicycletour. The link is in the description. If you enjoy my videos and want to be notified every time I upload a new one, hit that little red subscribe button. And if you could share this video, it'll help me reach a larger audience to share this message. Cheers, and I'll see you next week for the next installment of Ed Unicycles China. Oh yeah. Oh dear.